To arrange out your task timeline, what you can also do is you can add out leveling delays. So to do that, first of all, you need to go around over here onto the task tab and then go around and expand out the Gantt chart option right here. And then you need to go around onto more views. So once you go around over here, you can go around and for leveling, you can go around over here and select out leveling Gantt right here and click apply. So once you do that over here, you can see that there's a um, new um, uh, sections right here. So there's like the task mode itself is here. But over here, you can see that there are there is the leveling delays option right here. So you can go around over here and you can see the duration for each one of them right here. And you can go around over here on to, let's say, uh, scroll to task right here to see where it is. And let me just go around and zoom this out right here. So if you want to go around and rearrange out the time, you can add in E days to it, as you can see right here. For example, if I'm going to go around and add in, let's say, extra bit of 10 E days over here to the storyboard, then you can see that this is the leveling delay added onto it, meaning uh, the uh, actual task will start, let's say, later on right here. You can go around over here and let me just cancel this. So you can go around over here and add in, let's say, for example, 13 right here and then it labels out to add in another delay to it, meaning it is scheduled on a certain time right here. But you can see that I can go around, add in a delay to it in case it needs more time as well. So you can go around over here on to, let's say, for example, editing. And let's say I'm going to add in, an, uh, add in a leveling delay of around 15. You can see that it increases out the time right here. So if I were to press Control Z, you can see that the uh, that the time itself is um, uh, one. And if I were to go around and change it out right here, you can see that the time changes out over here. So you can see that this is what you have. And then there's uh, the leveling delay that has been added around over here. You can go around and add in, let's say, leveling delay to the production as well. And type in, let's say, for example, 20 right here. Then uh, uh, yeah, if you were to go around and make it 20 over here in suiting, not in the main production, but on the suiting right here, you can see it adds in a delay right here. And the leveling delay, as you can see, um, uh, shows up in another format right here, meaning that it is an extra added delay. And when you add in this delay, you can see the change in the timeline. So if you want more like flexibility of like how much um, uh, time um, um, uh, it takes to complete out the project, so let's say the project delays and then you want to leave some extra room for the delays as well, then you can utilize the leveling delays uh, inside of Microsoft project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.